Welcome to our online class organized by Dr. Khastagir Government Girls High School. Hello, dear students. How are you? Hope you are hale and hearty by the grace of Almighty Allah. <clears throat> I am also well by His grace. Today, I am with you, Tawhida Armana, Assistant Teacher English. Dr. Khastogir Government Girls High School, Chattogram. Let's begin our class. My class is on English grammar and it is for the students of class nine. Here, there is a sentence. She said, I am sick. See, again, uh, another sentence, she said that she was sick. What is the difference between these two speeches? Of course, uh, there is a difference. Let's see, what is the difference? Uh, in our first sentence, what is this sentence? It is direct speech. And what is this? It is indirect speech. Uh, both the inner meaning of these two sentences uh, is the same, but uh, the speaker uh, said it directly and the speaker here, the speaker said it indirectly. So, dear students, today our class is on changing narration or speech. There are two types of narration or speech, direct speech and indirect speech. Learning outcomes. Uh, after uh, completing this text, you will be able to describe the definition and classification of narration, know some easiest way of changing speeches to make the language lively, and you can be able to change the narrative style. Let's see our uh, next slide. What is narration or speech? Here, speech refers to the words of a speaker. We can simply say that speech refers to the words of a speaker speaker see again she said i am sick this portion is called reporting verb and i am sick this portion within the invited comma this portion is called reported speech okay we change uh, direct speech into indirect speech according to the verb of this report uh, according to reporting verb okay changes of tenses if the reporting verb is in past tense here i have i want to uh, tell you something so when we uh, want to change direct speech into indirect speech several uh, changes takes place uh, uh, such as the it uh, at first reporting verb change number two uh, according to the subject of the reported speech the person and tense uh, uh, of verb changes and some words or phrases changes and uh, between reporting verb and reported speech we placed uh, some words some conjunctions like that whether if or to okay there are some specific rules to change direct speech uh, from direct speech to indirect here changes of tenses if the reporting verb is in past tense 
let's see what happened. If the reported is reporting verb is in past tense in direct speech and uh, a reported verb in simple present, then when we uh, want to change uh, this speech into indirect, we have to change this simple present tense into simple past. Then what happened? If uh, the direct speech, uh, reported uh, speech of direct speech is, sim is in simple present, simple past, we have to change this tense, simple past will be turned into past perfect. Present perfect will be turned into past perfect. Present continuous will be turned into past continuous. And present perfect continuous will be turned into past perfect continuous. Uh, you have to remind this when you, uh, when you are going to change speeches. Then I have already mentioned change of word or phrase. Let's see what kind of word or phrases we have to change. If you, uh, if you find uh, in diet speech these, you have, when you turn this diet speech into indirect, you have to turn this into that, tomorrow into the next day, now, then, yesterday, the previous day, here, there, tonight, that night, these, those, last week, the previous week, go, before, next week, the following week, hence, thence, today, that day, either, either, the same day, the next day, thus, so, come, go. Please, kindly, so, that. Uh, I think uh, you are only, uh, already uh, familiar with these kind of changes as you have already uh, learned how to change speeches in your previous class. Let's start how to change narration of assertive sentence. Here is the structure. Subject plus say or said or tell or told plus object if any, if any object. Uh, then uh, plus that plus subject of reported speech plus verb plus extension. When we uh, want to change any uh, narration of assertive sentence, we have to follow this structure. Let's see some example, then it will be clear to you. In direct speech, they say to me, we are going to visit Borishal tomorrow. Here in indirect speech, they, according to our structure, they say to me, here is the object, uh, here is the object, they say to me that they were going to visit Borishal the next day. Here tomorrow changes into the next day and we are going to, this is uh, my present continuous tense and when we change into indirect speech, this present continuous um, tense changes into past continuous tense. Then our next sentence, Jafar said, I didn't go to school today. Uh, in an in indirect speech, Jafar said that he hadn't gone to school that day. Here, the past tense, simple past tense, changes into past perfect and today changes into that day. Our next slide, narration of interrogative sentence. 
let's see the structure first the structure is uh, it seems very clumsy but when you do some practice you will be it will be very much easier for you subject plus ask or inquiry of plus object if any plus if or whether reported when if or whether we have to add if where or whether if the reported speech begins with auxiliary verb such as do did shall will am is are was where etc plus subject of reported speech plus verb plus extension let's see some example here rocky said to helen does your father work here in indirect speech as this is an interrogative sentence so we changed said into asked rocky asked helen here we used e for whether as this uh, reported to speech begins with does that's why we used e for whether we can use if only if or we can use only whether anyone rocky asked helen if or whether her father worked there our next sentence mr jamal said to cynthia have you collected your homework mr jamal asked cynthia if she had collected her homework our third sentence samia said to puli can you accompany me to dhaka tonight samia asked puli whether she could accompany her to dhaka that night another uh, interrogative another type of interrogative sentence let's see the structure first here is the structure subject plus ask plus object if any if any object uh, is present in the direct speech plus interrogative pronoun or interrogative adverb plus subject of reported speech plus verb plus extension so let's see some example then it will be clear to you the girl said to me where do you live here the girl said to me where do you live here the reported speech begins with wh word such as where okay where so when we find this type of wh word we have to change the indirect we have to change this direct speech into indirect like this the girl asked me where i lived okay interrogative you we have to use interrogative pronoun or interrogative adverb here okay my father said to my brother why did you arrive at home late last night let's see the change my father asked my brother why he had arrived at home late the previous night harun said to the girl who is your favorite movie star Harun asked the girl who her favorite movie star was okay dear students now i am moving to my next slide here uh, we we are going to change some imperative sentence from direct to indirect here is the structure subject plus request or order plus or, or advice or command or forbade etc plus to plus main verb of reported to speech plus extension uh, let's see some example then it will be clear to you our first example the manager said to his workers begin your work just now uh, here Uh, see the sentence carefully begin your work just now here the manager ordered his workers to begin their work 
just now. Okay, let's see the change. The manager ordered his workers to begin their work just then. Here now changes into then. Another example, Sana said to Bina, don't hurt me anymore. In indirect speech, Sana requested Bina not to hurt her anymore. Here is it is imper uh, negative imper imperative sentence. That's why uh, we use here not, not to hurt her anymore. Another type of imperative uh, sentence, subject plus propose or proposed plus that plus they or we plus should plus main verb of reported speech plus extension. Okay. Let's see an example. Asif said to me, let us drop the matter. Uh, you see, this is a proposal here. Asif proposed me. This is a proposal. Let us. So when we find this type of sentences, uh, we have to change like this. Asif proposed to me that we should drop the matter here uh, here uh, you uh, you are uh, you can find object here you can find without object uh, without object in a sentence then you have to change like as he proposed me that as he proposed that we should drop the matter as but as there is a there is an object here. We have to add this object also. Asif proposed to me that we should drop the matter. Okay. Now, optative sentence. Narration of optative sentence. Here, the structure is subject plus wish or play plus that plus subject of reported speech plus may or might plus main verb plus ex extension. Let's see the example. The teacher say to the students, may Allah bless you. See, in, in indirect speech, the teacher wished that Allah might bless the students. According to the structure, we have changed this direct speech into indirect. Here, now we have come to exclamatory sentence. Let's see the structure. Subject plus exclaim or exclaimed with joy or exclaimed in joy or sorrow or grief plus that plus subject of reported speech plus verb according to the reporting verb. These verbs will be placed here according to the reporting verb plus very or great plus adjective plus extension. Here is an example. The old man said, plus I could not save you. In indirect speech, the sentence turned into like this. The old man exclaimed with sorrow that he could not save me. In direct speech, Subha said, what a fool I am. In direct speech, Subha exclaimed with grief that she was a great fool. Here, this structure is followed here. If you uh, get a sentence like, what a fool I am, how beautiful the bird is, you have to change this type of sentences by adding very or great plus adjective plus extension. Here, another slide. Read the text below to see how direct speeches are converted to indirect speech 
when they are placed in a passage which is commonly known as passage narration. This passage narration is important for you because you will find this type of passage uh, narration in your question paper and you have to turn this pas uh, passage into uh, direct from direct to indirect. You will not find any individual sentences in your question paper. Let's see the passage. Shaheen told Shihab, listen to me. I have come, I have some important business now and so I have to go. Please come at my place at the evening. We will chat together and have tea together. How fantastic, said Shihab. I will definitely come. I am free in the evening. Can I invite, invite Kamal to join us? Wow, what a great interesting idea. I am sure he must be happy to join us. Please ask him to join. Let's have dinner together, not tea, said Shaheen. Here, two speakers are here, Shaheen. One is Shaheen and another one is Shihab. And various types of sentences, you can see various types of sentences. Uh, such as imperative sentence, optative sentence, uh, interrogative sentence, um, assertive sentence, various types of sentences are here. So we have to turn these uh, passage narration uh, from direct to indirect. Let's have a look. Here, the first uh, uh, conversation Shaheen told Shihab listen to me I have some important business now and so I have to go please come at my place in the evening we will chat together let's see how we could change this narrative style here Shaheen asked Shihab to listen to him. He had some important business then, and so he had to go. Shaheen requested Shihab to go to his place in the evening. He told that they would chat together and have tea together. Okay, let's see another speech. How fantastic, said Shihab. I will definitely come. I am free in the evening. Can I invite Kamal to join us? See, here, uh, here is this speaker uh, is Shihab and uh, he has said uh, various types of uh, speeches. He has various types of speeches here. Uh, more than one speeches are here. Let's see how we could change this style. Shihab exclaimed in jo joy and said that it was a fantastic idea. He confirmed that he would go as was free in the evening. Shihab asked Shaheen if he could invite Kamal to join them. Another speech, another uh, one, two, and three speech. Wow, what a great interesting idea. I am sure he must be happy to join us. Please ask him to join. Let's have dinner together, not tea, said Shaheen. Here is the uh, change. Shaheen expressed his joy too and said that was a great idea. He hoped that Kamal would be very happy to join them. He also requested Shihab to ask Kamal to join them. He then proposed that they would have dinner together instead of tea. Okay. Here, yeah, dear students, um, I have to tell you something. Uh, uh, you know, when we change 
uh, direct speech into indirect speech, we usually don't uh, change word by word. Uh, we, what we do, we do some fine turning to make the language lively. Uh, otherwise, it will be it will be seemed mechanical and unnatural. Uh, that's why um, in the above um, in the above direct uh, sentence uh, we have changed this change like this. He confirmed that uh, he would go as was uh, free uh, as was free in the evening. Actually, we didn't write here. Let's see our previous sentence. Yes, see here, uh, we change this like uh, this. Uh, he confirmed that he would go as was free in the evening. He confirmed that he would go as was free in the evening. Uh, here we didn't write. He said that he would definitely come and uh, uh, he also said that he was free in the evening. Uh, we uh, do some fine turning here uh, and it is very important uh, in this uh, changing speeches, uh, in case of changing speeches from direct to indirect, especially when we have a whole conversation to change. Uh, we don't have to change uh, word by word because we, have to uh, we this kind of uh, change we have to uh, make the language lively that's why we do not uh, change word by word you have to be careful about this okay dear students uh, 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 this you will find this uh, changing narrative style uh, in your question paper, item number five, uh, you have to practice this type of passage narration, uh, changing uh, and try to practice this uh, passage uh, frequently at home uh, uh, because uh, you will find this type of changing uh, narration in your question paper, item number five. And today I am not giving you any homework, uh, yeah, uh, you have to practice it. Uh, practice this type of uh, passage narration again and again. Okay, for your better understanding, you have to uh, practice this type of passage narration. Now, it's time to say you goodbye. Uh, stay home, stay safe, and uh, take care of yourself as well as the member all the member of your family pray for me and keep keep my name in your prayer always okay dear students see you next allah hafiz and thank you